Welcome to this tutorial where I'll be demoing how to replicate Mongoose tables to Data Lake. To start, you'll need an environment with the Mongoose IMS connection point. This is usually provisioned already beforehand by Cloud Ops. Next, go into Mongoose and open up the Sites and Internets form. Make sure they both have a Data Lake entry that is also set up during the provisioning step. After you've verified these are set up, the next step is to tell Mongo which table to replicate and when. This is done through the replication categories and replication rules. Open up the replication categories and create a category with the replication transfer type of data lake. This is where you will tell Mongoose which table you want to replicate to data lake. I will use usernames for this demo. Set the object type to be table. And that's all. Hit save. Now I'm going to go to replication rules. You want to create a new entry with the source site of default being mongoose and a target of data lake. You want to select the data lake category that you just created. This will apply the replication rule to all the tables that you specified here. You have a few options for interval type. Immediate means anytime a record change occurs on any of the tables in your category. That change is sent to ION in the form of a bot to be ingested into Data Lake. The next step is to open up the Generate Data Lake Schema form. This will notify ION of the newly added tables we added to our categories. If we look into ION Desk, we see that ION currently only has our System Process Defaults table. After clicking Generate Data Lake Schema, it should see our new usernames table that we added. After hitting Refresh, I can see that the username table has been populated into ION now. Notice that the Mongoose table name is prefixed with MGF. This is set in the Mongoose Process Defaults table. After checking the data catalog for the new tables, you should also see it in the Mongoose IMS connection point. The last thing we need to set up in ION is the data flow. This will tell ION what tables to send to Data Lake. Here you want to create a new data flow. Set the application to be the Mongoose IMS connection point. And we want to ingest to Data Lake. Here is where we specify which tables to ingest to Data Lake. After all data is set up, give this flow a name, save, and activate it. Your activated data lake flow should look like this. Only thing left is to run our replication in Mongoose. But before that, let's regenerate replication triggers. Since we made changes to our replication categories and rules. And unload all cache to be safe. Now we can finally test the replication. Open the manual replication utility. This is what we use to initially populate data lake with all the records from our table. Table name is optional. If not specified, it will replicate all the tables in this category. 
For this demo, I only want usernames. Hit save and replicate. If the table is large, it can take a few minutes. After that, you can go into one view to see the bot that came from Mongoose into Ion. You can see this is all the records from my username table that's going to be sent to Data Lake and replicated. Now if I go into Data Lake, into Compass, and query for my user's name table, I can see that the user's name table from Mongoose has been successfully replicated into Data Lake. The powerful part about all this is that now Mongoose knows anytime I change a record for user's name, it will send that change to Data Lake. Since I set up a replication rule to immediately pick up any change to a record for my user's name table, if I change this user description field and save it for this record, it should immediately send a bot to Ion to be ingested into Data Lake. After refreshing one view, I can now see two documents for user's name. My first one was for the initial population. Second one is the user description modification I made for my user. Now if I go into Compass, and do a query for my specific user. I can see that Dialect has replicated my change in the user description name. You can see for the use case of this that it's keeping track of the history of the record changes in Mongoose. Whereas Mongoose only shows the most up-to-date values, Dialect can keep a track of the history of changes. And that will be all for this walkthrough. For any more questions, please refer to this wiki with the step-by-step -step instructions of how to replicate Mongoose tables to Data Lake.